All right, we made it to the lake. There's Dan Kirk, Dan Kirk Outdoors. We got Bradley with Hunt Fish Camp. And we have a trailer that is loaded down crazily. Should be towed out with our wheeler. Head out to Lake Winnebago, it's beautiful. Let's see if we can catch some fish. And we finally got one. Hey, it is tiny though. Bad on Bago, baby, catching miniature white bass. We found a little zone where we're marking a bunch of fish and they'll chase and it's hard to get them to bite. And so we've kind of stuck around here a long time, but that's the first, first fish we've caught. All right, we are hooked up, but it is not big enough for what we need. Coat out of the way there. Little perch. All right, Brad just got one. There we go. Nice, nice perch. We'll throw him in the bucket and maybe that's what we'll register. We'll see. Get him, Brad. Oh. Get him. I got him. There we go. Huge. Huge. Catching huge ones out on Bago. Here's where we're looking at. This is why the fishing clubs are so important. Yeah, it went down. Over. Yeah. Checking out our giant craft. All right. Of course. Not catching a lot, so I don't have the uh, camera almost time, but I finally got a halfway decent perch. Be not very big. But I'm really excited to have them right now. It's been a rough, rough fishing here for a while. Dang it. Toss them in the bucket. Alrighty. We got ourselves, or my coat's in the way. Another halfway decent perch seems to be what we can catch here you know a little flutter spoon with a minnow head on at the moment there not too bad hey. nice male perch yeah sweet nice job buddy that's what kids do when they get bored drill more holes sorry it gives me more spots to fish Well, that's a big fish. I'm gonna get a scooper. Alright, finicky cooler went off. We got something big. I'm worried this is a sturgeon. <laughs> well, some sturgeons. So you're not making any headway on it? Oh my gosh. I really want to see what it is. <laughs> it's not a walleye though. It's just the yeah, record, it's, record I mean, walleye. I mean, I wouldn't. I just hope I get to see whatever it is. Well. Maybe I should just go fishing and it starts to get close, you just give a shout. Yeah, that might be uh, good. This might be a while. <laughs> if I can keep it from spooling me. It'll be a miracle if I get this fish caught. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, oh, it snapped. Yeah, it's a real fish. Nice. 
go. Jeez, he's like swallowed it too. Of course, he sat and we got to eat it for a while. There we go. My camera's all like tipped down weird. You did catch a burbot. That's awesome. Keep him. Show him off. Put your other hand like right down here. You caught him, John? Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, man. It's poor man's lobster. So you take that and you fillet it out and then boil the meat and it'll taste just like lobster meat. This is not an yeah. enterable fish? That is not an enterable fish, but if you're not keeping it, I am because they're delicious. Okay, we'll keep it. Where's the bucket? That's way cool. Nice job, man. Hey. You got a fish. Got a fish. I'm Lake Winnebago. Woohoo! You. No, you had a walleye? That's how you do it. I got, got a one. nice perch on the zip up. On nice. a minnow. So yeah. There we go. These are the ones we kept that we thought maybe had contention or had a chance anyway. We've got two big ones that we'll take and register. See how we do. All right, out here with uh, Dan and Kirk, Captain Kirk actually, catching perch out on Winnebago for the battle on Bago. He's showing us what we what he had. Beautiful, nice jumbo perch. What's your biggest one? Eleven and a quarter. Nice, awesome. They're gonna be delicious. They will. Nom nom. Show us what you got. You have to kneel down. There you go. Beauty. That's what you need for this tournament. Yep, White bass, definitely. couple walleyes. And show off the burbot you guys got. Delicious. There you right go. There. Nice. If anyone wants to know where they're fishing, it's right here. Right there. There you go. That's the spot. Check out the shoreline over there. Yep. Come straight <laughs> out from that. We're headed to weigh in. Woo. To, along with 8,000 other people. Yep. Now we're in the weigh in line. And it is like, oh, you can see over all that. There's a lot. I'm not gonna be home for a while. We'll be here for a while. So this is when he, when you start to feel bad about the fish that we caught. There's his yeah. giant perch and his uh, five gallon bucket. Those, those look good. Those look but, gooder. Uh, yeah, exactly. Hello. Looks like that was the biggest one. Here we go. We are entering. It's already up. Sweet. You get something off the table, Brad. What do you want? Is this you? Yep. I got you. Hey, hey, hey. here we go. Check it out. We just got a subscriber. Sweet. All right, that is a wrap. We are loaded up in the truck. You can see behind me, my truck is full of stuff. Got our sweet new Battle on Bago hats. Got to always support the cause. I uh, had a pretty good uh, tournament. Uh, tell them what we weighed, Brad. We weighed 2.7 pounds perch. And That's two perch that were about 0.7 pounds. So nice perch, but not giant perch by any means. Not going to put us up in uh, any awesome places, but maybe, maybe within a couple of those uh, way down the line prizes. Either way, mm -hmm. did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good couple of days. It's always tough fishing on Bago, but it's always fun getting out, trying it out. It's time to celebrate by going to Culver's. We don't know what we have to celebrate yet because we don't know what place we got, but we're going to make our predictions right now. I'm going to say our two perch are going to be somewhere in the realm of 2,334th place. What do you think, Brad? I'm thinking around 3,045th place. Sweet. Maybe we'll have to come up with something to put on the line for that, but. All right, we are on our way home from the Battle on Bago a three hour drive across the state. Had a good tournament, we talked about that already. Uh, but we were, Bradley and I were talking about uh, what we learned from uh, this tournament. And so here's what I feel like I learned in these two days. We found a bunch of fish, but they were small. We were marking fish almost constantly. And so we stayed in one little area 
for way too long because we were not catching anything good. Eventually we did travel around. I'll show you a map of exactly where we went, all that craziness. But uh, we stayed in one spot a really long time and yet we never really set up shop. We didn't put down our minnows. We didn't, you know, we kind of kept moving around right in that area. Uh, whereas on the second day, we went out and we just explored the new areas for a little while until we found a spot where we were marking some decent fish, caught a few decent perch. We put down some finicky foolers and kind of set up a little base camp and stayed there for a couple hours. Uh, if we'd have more time, then we'd have packed up and we could have moved and gone somewhere else. So uh, in future tournaments for next year, I think if we get on those small fish again, we need to move because there was, they held us there way too long. All right, this is your lake breakdown for Lake Winnebago, where we fished the Battle on Bago. I uh, lived out there and fished it for a few years. Not an expert on Lake Winnebago by any means, so I'll show you what I know, uh, and maybe that'll help you as well. For those of you who fish it a lot, you know that Lake Winnebago basically has this big, giant bowl of mud out in the middle, not a lot of contour. It's hard to go out there and really target a certain area and find fish. You have to more or less randomly drill holes. So I drill a hole, go a quarter mile, drill a hole, go a quarter mile, uh, fish a hole. I only fish for five minutes. If I don't mark anything, I move. If I mark fish, then I'll stay a little longer. And then you start trying to figure out what you're marking, if it's worth staying or not. For us on this tournament, we went out of Brothertown, went out about three or four miles, and basically did little circles uh, out here in this little area. Stuck to these little fish, kept feeling like there were some bigger ones around. Every once in a while we'd mark something, and we caught a couple of good perch, but not all that much. Uh, we did end up making a big, giant circle, drilling some holes, and again, not finding all that much. Just a little bit. That was on Friday. On uh, Saturday, then we went out of Merritt so that we'd be closer for the weigh-in, and basically did a big circle um, on that the north side of Merritt Street. Not quite as big as what I just drew on there. We probably went four miles out uh, from Merritt, the furthest out that we went there. And again, drilling holes. Eventually, by about 10 o'clock, we landed on some fish and we were able to set up and stay for a couple hours and uh, catch, a punt, catch a bunch. So it uh, became a pretty good day. It was beautiful out and it's always fun being out catching fish. Uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Right. Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> good lord. Okay, that's good, buddy. Stop, stop, stop.